Okay, one of my favorite guns is this Kremlin Excite gun. I've got this gun hooked up. Uh, it's got a Kremlin line, but it's hooked to my uh, Tri-Tech T4 pump with a hopper. And I also have a small two horsepower air compressor. Uh, you can use a very small air compressor, it doesn't take much air. What I like about this gun is this thing atomizes really, really well. I only need to have about five to 600 PSI of fluid pressure for this top coat that I'm spraying and uh, very little air, probably somewhere between 10 to 15 PSI of air. So I do reduce this down just by uh, about 2% with water. I'm spraying the Renner 688. It, this is catalyzed 15% and I'm putting about 2% water in there just to help it flow out. And by doing that and those other settings, like I said, this spray is really nice. So I'll spray a few doors here to show you. Um, but before I do that, if you're considering setting up an air assisted airless system like this with your um, T4 or T5 Tri-Tech, or if you have some other um, airless pump you want to use and an air compressor, um, you, can, you can use this, but the, line, the, the lines use a little different fitting than just the standard quarter inch fluid line. So you have to use a little bit of a, some kind of an adapter or something to go between those two back at the pump. So that can be a little bit of a challenge maybe to figure that out. Um, the other thing you can do is if you haven't bought this gun, uh, Total Finishing Solutions sells a gun called the Viper. It's a green gun. Go to their website of uh, Total Finishing Supplies, I think, Total Finishing Supplies. And they sell a spray gun for air assisted air. It's called a Viper. And it uses Kremlin tips, but it has its own air cap. However, I've been told that the Kremlin air cap will fit onto the Viper gun. And I believe by doing that, and this is what I've heard from others, I've never tried the Viper. I have a friend of mine who uses it and they like it. They said it's not quite as good as the, as the Excite gun, but it's half the price. So it is a pretty good alternative. But uh, here's the other thing. I heard uh, Eric Reason say on one of his videos that he put the Excite air cap on the Viper gun and it performed just as well. So that's pretty good news. However, if you buy the Viper gun, um, you can use their air cap and Kremlin tips with it, but you may want to buy, you know, the Kremlin air cap. Probably not that terrible expensive and you're still gonna be a lot cheaper than buying this whole gun. However, all, you know, saying all that, uh, this is a really nice gun that handles real well. But like I said, it takes a little special fitting to hook it to your, to your, um, airless pump if you have one. All right, so I'm gonna spray a few doors here. 500 PSI fluid, between five and 600, and probably close to 15 PSI air. And this thing really shoots uh, really nice, good atomization, very little overspray, very little wasted paint. All right, I'm gonna turn on my fan. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the Kremlin gun and the tips and some other guns that I've used. Um, I kind of like to try different guns. I've bought a number of different guns. You've seen me use them on some of my other videos. I have the GM 4700 gun, which is uh, made by Wagoner. That one's really nice. <clears throat> that one has uh, reversible tips. So if you get a clog, you can just uh, reverse the tip and blow it out. Um, that being said, I get almost no clogs with the way I spray. I think the filtration on the Excite gun, the Kremlin, the one I'm using there, is just a little bit better than the Wagner 4700. Um, the 4700 has, it has a long filter that goes inside the handle. And if you keep them clean, I think the secret is keeping them clean. When you keep them really clean, Every use, every time you're done spraying a set of doors, take it out, clean it thoroughly, 
Um, keep your equipment clean and you're not going to have a lot of issues with clogs. So I, like I said, this, this Kremlin with, uh, with the little metal screen that it has in the handle, um, I like to, you know, keep those clean, replace them. Um, for the top coats that I'm doing, I am also using the small screen inside the tip. It's the 06 tip for Kremlin. And the 06 tip has a little screen that helps to protect it. So that will keep um, anything that's, you know, going to clog that tip, it'll keep it out. Um, pretty important to keep your tips clean as you, as you use them as well. Keep um, any dried paint off the front. Don't let it build up. And when you're done, uh, blow them out good. I like to use these little spray cans with acetone in them. Um, they're a gun cleaner stuff. You can buy it on Amazon. So I use that. I use Renner gun cleaner. Um, I, I've just found that cleaning things really well just goes a long way. So take your time and clean every time you're done. Um, and you shouldn't have issues. I get very, almost no clogs at all. So I'm spraying the top coat here with an 06 tip. Um, I have sprayed with an 09, and 09 works as well. The 09 does not have a screen inside it. Um, I actually like to spray lighter coats, so I actually like the 06 tip for my top coats. And, and another reason for using lighter coats and a smaller tip is for bridging. So a lot of people struggle with bridging when they spray waterborne coatings. Um, especially when you have doors that have very tight gaps between the panels and the rails and styles of the door. So using an 06 tip and just spraying very lightly. And then uh, I will put two top coats on this. I'll just, instead of doing a cross hatch pattern one time, I'll do one pass. I'll let it dry a couple hours. I'll take a sandpaper over it really fine, really fine, um, like a pad, a 320 pad. Wouldn't really even have to do that. Uh, only want to make sure there's no nibs or anything. But if you respray within your recoat window, which is usually anywhere between one to three hours, if you spray in there, you, there's no need to re-sand for a mechanical adhesion. Basically, the only reason for sanding would be um, just for a final smooth finish. So. I want to talk just a little bit yet about some of the other guns. I've also tried the Black Mamba gun. I have a video that I did when I bought that gun and I was going to do some more videos about it. <clears throat> I have really not had much success with that gun and I, I see online some reviews there are people that have. So I'm not prepared to say one way or the other with that. It just for me, it didn't work like some of these other guns. Um, the GM4700 gun is also a nice gun. That one, I like that gun a lot. Between that one and the Excite gun, I would say they're pretty close. My favorite, I think, is the uh, Kremlin Excite. I think it just atomizes uh, pretty well, and it's the transfer efficiency, the low amount of overspray, I think can't, can't be beat. Again, I haven't tried every gun, so if you have any other guns that you think might be better, please put it in the comments. I'd love to hear. At this point, um, I like I like my Kremlin Excite. The uh, Gray Code G15, I have that one as well. That one is also a really good gun. Uh, tips aren't quite as expensive as the as the Kremlin Excite. Um, so I would recommend that one too. That one hooks up really easily to uh, to any airless pump um, with just a standard quarter inch fittings. And that's the other nice thing about the GM4700 too. It just, it hooked right up with the standard quarter inch fittings and the Kremlin Excite, they just use different threads. So you have to kind of make some kind of a makeshift adapter between the pump and your lines. I would say that's probably one of the downsides to that. It's not as easy just to take it off and on as some. So anyway, that's pretty much it here. And if you have any questions or comments, put those down in the, in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Um, basically, I figure about two ounces of paint per door side. So if I have a stack of doors, if I've got 30 doors, take that times two means I need 60 ounces of paint. I have my 15 ounces of catalyst, two ounces of water, mix that all up and spray away. Most times um, I'll have
just a little bit left over at the end. Depends how big the doors are. I might have to figure a little bit, uh, just a little extra. I'd rather have a little extra than run out. This was cutting it pretty close, but it held out. Thanks for watching.